If you think about going to a coding boot camp, I'm about to save you so much time by telling you the things that I wish I would have learned before I went to coding boot camp, all right? So stick around to the end of this video. What's going on guys? My name is Darian. This is Darian the Dev. We talk about everything from tech, entrepreneurship, coding, startups, all that good stuff here on this channel. So if you guys are into that, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It helps me stay motivated to put this content out for you guys, all right? So in this one, really quick, if I could go back before I went to coding boot camp, these are the things that I wish I would have spent more time studying. Whatever your coding boot camp is gonna teach you as a database, I would definitely go start learning that before you actually go because databases themselves when you come from a non-programming or non-cs background are so confusing especially when you're learning relational databases with sql at least for me the concept of joins and foreign keys and all that stuff was really complex when i got to it uh there's a lot of different ways online where you can practice sql uh there's test sample data out there and there's so many ways you can just play around and get familiar with writing queries and getting data back long before you even go to coding bootcamp. Now, as painful as that might be, it is going to help you out so, so much when it comes to full stack development when you get to that portion of your coding bootcamp. The next thing I wish I would have done or studied more or actually built before I went to coding bootcamp is a console application and a CRUD application. Now, these are things you're likely gonna do when you get to coding bootcamp, but that's also why I wish I would have done it before going to coding bootcamp because expecting the coding bootcamp to teach you everything or just going to bootcamp and thinking that they're gonna teach you pretty much everything you need to know is just ridiculous. So the more you can teach yourself before getting there or the more experience, even if it's having a hard time and struggling with it and failing, just exposing yourself to it before you go to coding bootcamp, I feel like, would help so much if I could go back and do it over again. That way, even if I struggled or, you know, I had to follow a tutorial in the one I did on my own, at least I would have been prepared for learning the concepts that I was only gonna spend like a couple hours or a few days or maybe a week at most learning a certain concept in coding bootcamp. At least I would have had exposure to it before and would have been prepared to kind of grasp the concept a little bit better. So I would build, you know, two of those types of apps in whatever language you're gonna be learning at your coding bootcamp. Build a console app and a full stack CRUD application from a course or something online, follow a tutorial, blog, whatever, and get that experience before you go to coding bootcamp. Boom, number three, APIs, all right? Application programming interfaces. I wish I would have gotten more familiar with that before I went to coding bootcamp. I had heard of the term API before I went to coding bootcamp, but I had no real firsthand experience with it. I didn't know how to interact with them. I didn't know what their purpose was, to be honest with you. I had just heard it from going to like startup weekends and doing different like little hackathons and things like that where I wasn't a developer, but I would go to these things and you know be it like the business person and try to just be involved and be around developers and just get the experience of building startups. You can start simple. You can use you know no auth APIs. You can look up you know online on Google you know no auth APIs, no auth required. There's like a Chuck Norris API that you can use and um, it doesn't have any auth key or anything like that. So then you can move up to one that has a bearer token or one that does have an auth key or API key, something like that. And then just continually you know play with different ones so you can understand the differences between the security levels of APIs, HTTP status codes, uh, tools like Postman. Those are all things I wish I would have done before I went to Coding Bootcamp. Now, I also went to Coding Bootcamp in 2018 for anybody brand new to the channel. So these are things that were still getting figured out by Coding Bootcamps on how to teach these things, I think. So we didn't spend a lot of time going into these topics. These might be a lot more standard now in Coding Bootcamps, but I would still recommend that you do it before you go to a Coding Bootcamp because if you get into the lesson and you don't get it and you get stuck or lost that week, it's not a good time. Not a good time to fall behind. Deploying your apps on Heroku or AWS or some sort of cloud service provider is another thing that I would definitely recommend doing before you go to Coding Bootcamp. So once you've built that CRUD application or even a website, just deploy it on Heroku or go watch a video tutorial on how to do that so you can get familiar with that entire process because you're gonna be doing that in Coding Bootcamp and you're gonna need to do that for your job and you're gonna wanna have that experience for job interviews as well. So you're gonna wanna know how to 
use version control you're gonna want to know how to use the terminal with git so yeah make sure you guys do that get experience with deploying your apps because it's going to help you a lot and you're going to use some cloud service provider to do that whenever you you know end up building your own projects in boot camp or when you get out in the real world you're going to have to deploy your apps and your projects whether you're, they're your side projects or your clients projects you're going to have to get familiar with deploying them anyway so get out there before you go to coding boot camp and start getting reps with that guys is that a lot is that a lot yeah i know but if it was helpful make sure you guys like share and subscribe it really helps me stay motivated to put this type of content out for you guys and let me know what you think of this down in the comment section down below guys i love chatting it up with y'all also make sure you guys check out the description box down below i'm giving away my free intro to code and bootcamp course it only costs your email address so make sure you guys check that out it's got everything in there i wish i knew before i went to coding bootcamp outside of the things that we talked about here in this video so make sure you guys check that out and let me know what you think of that as well this is Darian with Darian the Dev. I'll see you guys next video, all right? Peace.